Hello, welcome. Today we are going to create this spanner. Hmm? I'm going to show you how we achieve to make this spanner. Okay? First and foremost, what you do, you have to come and click to ellipse tool. Then you press shift on your keyboard, control, so that you can get a symmetrical ellipse tool. Then we can add the outer line, 5 millimeters. Then, from here, you are going again to click on a rectangle tool. You draw a rectangle. Okay? Something of sort. Okay? Then we use a shape tool. Click on shape tool. Then we drag like this to form round edges. Then we are going to push this one up a bit. Then we turn this one into 90 degrees. enter okay. then we are going to select all of it then we come to alignment we align center that's the center okay then we reduce from me a bit something like that okay then we need to form this part here okay so we are coming to polygon tool then we shift Control. As you can see, this one has five. One, two, three, four, five. So we are going to change it to be six. Click here to form six. Then, after that, we are going to drag this one here. Okay. Then you have also to put it in the middle. So you have to go to align and distribution, make it center. Then from here now, we are going to select the polygon and the ellipse tool together. Then we trim, click on trim. Then we remove this polygon. Now we have formed our, our spanner. Okay. Now we are going again to select both of them. Then we weld. Click on weld tool, then it is only one. Okay, now we copy paste this one, control C, control V, so that we can make two. We have already achieved this one. Now we want to experiment so that we can form a 3D. Now this one, I'm going to turn it to 90 degrees. Cool, like this. Okay, then we need to color. You can just copy the color from here using the eyedropper tool. Boom. That's our spanner. Okay. Let me expand so that you can see very well. This is our spanner now. Okay. Now from here, we need to come to extrude tool. Okay. Then we make the preset. We need to form this part like that. See what we have done. Now we need to reduce so that it can look a bit smaller. Because you can see this part is too big. Then we come here. Reduce the depth. See? That's how we can achieve our, our spanner. <coughs> see? Now we have a spanner. Good one actually. Yeah? Now, we need to remove this outer line because it's looking too dark. What you can do, we can change the color by right-clicking the mouse, the right button. Yes, like that. Or maybe we can darken it a bit. First, first we have to click it. Eh? First, we have to select. We can darken it a bit like that. That one is awesome, awesome. This one is awesome. Okay. Now this is our spanner. Let's change it to 90 degrees. Eh? Now that's our spanner. Hmm? You see? This is our spanner. 